Oh man, so it's a hot one today. And so uh, one thing that we have a hard time doing is uh, watering everything on a timely manner. And, and standing out here, uh, watering everything for you know two hours just doesn't seem to be uh, likely. So uh, I didn't have the money at the time just to go out and buy some uh, soaker hoses. Uh, but what I did have was an extra hose. It doesn't have an end. Uh, piece to the hose uh, so it's just the hose at the end and uh, so what I did was I tied it off and I um, hammered a bunch of nails into or a bunch of uh, holes into it and then um, I'm gonna show that to you now and to show you how actually good it works it, it uh, I just put it out there and then every 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour or whatever however long I want to water that particular bed for and then and then I can just uh, change it over, and uh, you know it's it might want to turn off the water before you change it over because you uh, you might get uh, wet doing that. But uh, let me show you how that works, and uh, uh, just you know it was an easy way for us to, to save right, a little bit of money. We're gonna sit here and wait on our uh, my son to turn the water on, and and uh, it'll all of a sudden just start to sprout. So uh, this is what it looks like. Now I hammered holes into this thing like every three inches, four inches, roughly, and uh, it went through both sides. So, but like I said, it works. And all I did was tie the end of it. So here's the end of it. All I did was tie it, and then uh, you know it just starts to spin. So when it's time to water a bed, then I'll just take it and you can get wet doing it, but it's hot, you know, so nice. Just weave it back and forth, back down to the like this. Like I said, it's probably better to do this whenever you have the water turned off, but I didn't do that. So it's nice and hot and now I'm nice and cooled off. So, but uh, that's basically it. I just uh, cut holes into the hose and then tied it off at the end. And now we've got a little sprinkler system basically that goes to the entire thing. So I only did about 25 feet. So that way I could cover up my hose. I cover up my bed and uh, uh, yeah. Whoa. You picking peppers? Yeah. Is it time to pick peppers? You think? Yep. Oh, Brian. Don't touch them. They're hot.
So these are all the hot ones, so we're gonna uh, take those inside real fast and then uh, come back and get the other ones. All right, come on. our sweet peppers. Now another thing that we're going to do today is we're going to harvest some of these uh, lemon cucumbers. Now these things have exploded and there's only four plants here. I have two on this side and two on this side. Uh, each interval of the uh, TP is where I've got them. And then um, they, they started off really slow and I gave, I gave them some blood and bone and then after like a week or two they started to get really good and green and then and then you know now here we are and they are uh, sitting in shoots everywhere so let me bring you inside and uh, I'll show you exactly how much uh, growth they have and uh, how many cucumbers are hanging from inside so okay so I don't know how well you can see this but as you can see there's one two three Four, five, six, seven, there's eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this thing, like I said, it is it is running all the way up. This TP is crazy. And that's just this side. There's there's eleven on that side, uh, just that I could see. And then on this side, there's another, there's another one there, 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 there back over there there there's some more back this way over here see this is where i planted it here on these two tiers so it started off on uh you have a, a pole here and a pole here and then there's another pole there i know excuse me a pole there 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 and there's this is where i planted, and they are spreading out this way and both ways so We're going to take off several of these cucumbers today and uh, we're going to do some cucumbers and vinegar and uh, something my wife and my, my mother and I'm sure lots of people love some good cucumbers and vinegar. There's another one back there. Back there. Yeah. Huh. And wouldn't you believe it now? I, uh, I have no idea what happened, but all of a sudden, I, uh, all the cucumbers that I picked from this TV... I don't know where all the footage is, so I took footage, but it's somewhere in the air. I don't know where it is. So, uh, but I ended up with 36 uh, cucumbers, and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut them up, and I'm going to put them into a, a jar with vinegar. So here we are. So I had 35 of these uh, cucumbers and uh, the only thing that I know to do with them is either make pickles, which I don't have the stuff to do, or um, I cut all of them up into slices and stick them in this jar here, which has got a little vinegar in it. What I did is I, I cleaned out the jar real good and I sloshed a little vinegar in there to make sure it was good and clean. And then you just take these and you slice them all up. Stick them in the jar. Now, if you let them go too far, then uh, they will have some seeds in there and this this last one that I just cut up probably will be a little bit too much for my wife to eat those but uh, I'm gonna leave them in there anyway just to make sure that I'm not wrong.
That's all we need. Now, see, this is full of cucumbers. It's got a little bit of space in there, which is good. What we're going to do is we're going to take this vinegar, okay, and we'll fill it up about halfway. Just about halfway. Maybe a little more. A little more. All right, so then we want to take water and fill it up the rest of the way. Do that there. Just where we got a little bit of space. Let the shape. And you take that lid, put it on there. And we'll give that a little shape upside down. Right, and that's it. And then you're just gonna let it sit for a few days. And uh, you know, overnight's best. Uh, if you, you can eat it in a couple hours, but overnight's better. Uh, 48 hours is even better, and a week is even better than that. So uh, just let them sit and uh, absorb all that uh, vinegar and, and, and kind of pickle up with the vinegar and then uh, enjoy them. They are good. All right, so real quick, we're going to uh, pick a few of these squash that I got out here. I got some uh, butternut squash, and I got uh, get, uh, spaghetti squash. You want to come see this? You want to come get some of these? And I quickly want to go through the harvest that we got today. Now you got the cucumbers here. Now there's 25 left in here. Uh, there's another one that's in here that I'll get out. And then uh, let's see here. we got the the peppers here. I've got the um, the sweet banana peppers here, and then the hot banana peppers here, along with some tomatoes. A couple that I picked, and a couple that my my son picked a little early. Uh, I'm going to go get the cayenne peppers here after a while, but uh, they were, there's not that many and I'm just going to pick a few from my dad, so uh, that's all I'm going to do with that. Uh, we did get a couple of these uh, spaghetti squash. Now, I've never done the spaghetti squash. I'm not sure if these are completely ready yet, but you know, you live and you learn. And uh, so we got one. They had some nice color onto it and they probably needed to be out there for a little bit longer. And I'm sure somebody will say they did. But uh, several of them. Now that one's a little bitty one, but it, the color was different on it. Besides, compared to the other ones, there's another one there. A couple of uh, butternut squash. Now uh, I do know that these are supposed to be a little bit bigger, but uh, also the color on these were uh, more golden than other ones as well. So uh, you can see the difference here in this one versus this one. But there's a lot of little damage here on this on this one here. You can see that. And we also got another zucchini to go in our pile. Another cucumber. And then also our little pile of onions as well. So uh, we got a little bit of a harvest there. I might have to do some more research and figure out exactly like you know when to pick these and what they uh, are you know are going to look like at the end and uh, you know once once we figure that out then everything will be good. Okay. I'm gonna stick these over here. I'm gonna stick these over here in our we have like our little shelf here that's got some things and it's got. You know our groceries and stuff in it but here at the bottom we've got uh where we're putting all of our produce and stuff and we'll put the butternuts down there 
right down there. And then this is the zucchini that goes down there. There's another zucchini there. A little grocery store, huh? You know, it's a hot one today and it's, I think it's just gonna be hot like this all week, so. But, um, you know, I appreciate everybody sticking around and uh, I hope, hopefully y'all are inside when y'all are watching this, but uh, I appreciate everybody sticking around and, and uh, we will uh, catch y'all in the next one, I guess. Let's go!